Hello everyone, this is Manish and in this video I am going to discuss about how you can learn the Microsoft Intune technology. I used to hear this question a lot that how to learn the Intune and majority of time what I see is that they have already explored, tried exploring the Intune, they have gone through the videos, they are reading the blogs and then still they have the question even though there are so many books available, they are going through it, they still have the problem that how to learn the Intune. I think the real question is why they are not able to learn the Intune. Once we figure out this thing, we can create a strategy and that can help you out on this thing. So this video specifically going to be focused on the newcomers, freshers, uh, team members coming from the service desk or anyone who is already working in the organization, probably from the SCCM background and they're still struggling how to learn the Intune. If you already are on the path of Intune means you have a willpower, you understand the technology, then this video might not be applicable for you. So let's start. I'm going to focus on three major topics for this video. I'm going to cover the challenges to learn the Intune, how to overcome these challenges, and finally strategy that will be containing three phases to learn the Intune technology. Let's start. These are the three topics which I'm going to discuss as you can see on the screen. Let me first talk about the first topic, challenges to learn the Intune. The very first topic, the point is overwhelming content about how to learn the Intune. I would say that there are authors, publishers who have published awesome books. There are video, course, content, everything is there. So they have put everything into their book so I'm not going to criticize that it is too overwhelming they have created so much information see they have years of experience they have put it into a book creating the videos so this is not helping you because of too much information is there which they have tried to cover in a video or course second thing is maybe you are new to a technology a fresher or maybe coming from a different domain which is you are lacking that kind of skills which is demotivating you and the third is even if you are able to bypass above two points you start reading you start your journey with the Intune you start watching the videos maybe after one or two chapters or maybe after one or two videos you start getting discouraged the reason is you might see the terminologies which you are not aware of that what is the adding the custom domain, mm -hmm. hybrid Azure AD join, uh, SCCM co-management, workload, endless connector, SCAP, autopilot configuration using the hybrid. There are so many things going on. The moment you see a bigger picture that eventually demotivates you. And even though you think from inside that, yeah, I was, I have a willpower, I will be able to do it. Something bad happens and you simply get close. And then again, you start asking the question to others, how to learn the Intune, even though every kind of information, every kind of content is already there. So what are the plan to overcome these challenges? I talked about the issue, but we need to think about the real plan that is there a solution. This is not about the preaching. Believe me, I'm not going to waste your time. This is not the preaching. I'm going to provide you a strategy which can help you. But before that, Think about the challenges which you are facing. So we are going to talk about the plan. So we always used to hear this statement, when there is a will, there is a way. I would say it's too much overrated statement, which is not applicable for everyone. So I don't believe in this statement. I mean to say not always. If you have so that kind of will, willpower, yes, it might work for you, but it's not helping others. Majority of us might not be having that willpower. The reason is you have a willpower, you are starting but suddenly you see that there is no way and that discourages you and you stop learning. You are not able to do anything. So I would be modifying this statement. When there is a way, there is a will. I think this is going to work for majority of us. What I mean to say is try to create a way means a solution. Try to clear the obstacle once that obstacle is clear then you will get motivated and then you can say there is a way to achieve that thing right so enough about the preaching thing 
let's talk about the strategy so strategy to learn intune i would say in this strategy i'm going to divide into three phases the number one is cloud only approach i mean to say without having any on premises infrastructure stay with me on this video i'm going to explain in detail the benefits and the approach what we are going to do second is the hybrid approach so hybrid approach means you are learning in tune not only with the on premises infrastructure not only with the cloud infrastructure now you have here domain controller on premises infrastructure also and you have to learn by combining both the things together that make things a bit complex so that's why this is coming at the second level the first level is pretty much a very simple thing on premises the third phase would be the hybrid approach advanced level i mean to say you not only are having the on premises infrastructure now we are focusing more upon the sccm infrastructure also installed in your environment sccm or wss means you are controlling your patches application so many things using on premises infrastructure you have intune also now you need to have hybrid infrastructure as well as there will be workload to control different kind of workload between the intune and ssm that makes things pretty much very complex so that's why i have made thing that thing in covered into the third phase so every phase what i would say is that it can be completed the phase specifically about the first phase it can be completed within 2 to 3 months of time right it will be giving you the best exposure for learning the intune let me talk about the first cloud only approach what we are going to discuss about this cloud only approach and what will be the do's and don'ts the first thing is in cloud only approach let me tell you the very important thing right now if i have to create an intune account and i have to configure and deploy an application to a device it will hardly take 30 minutes for me and i can deploy windows only for business maybe 30 40 minutes maybe one hour so within one hour you are ready to deploy an application in windows only for business without having any lag so this is the best thing right so what is stopping you nothing you need to have a strategy so what i mean to say with this strategy is create a free intune account which is valid for 90 days so there are two kinds of accounts i will be coming up later so the benefit of this uh, intune uh, the cloud only approach is that you don't require any high end pc no lab is required you don't have to create any lab at home yes if you have a lab then it will be more you will be having more advantage because you can uh, you can create the windows 10 windows 11 workstation on your own disposal whenever you have issues so it's very easy to manage but without that also it is going to be very simple what i what we need to is we just need to have one single device let me come to this later on the third thing is with this cloud only approach the you are not going to buy any license because you are already having a 90 days of trial version available so as i told you previously with this approach within 30 minutes of time in all intune configuration can be done and you can deploy your first application if you want i can create a video for this i can have a live session where i can show you demonstrate you creating the intune account and deploying it to a device so with this cloud only approach we need to understand that what exactly we are going to do and what we are not going to do this is really very important for you to understand for the strategy what we are working for let's talk about the do's the first thing is we are going to create intune account the free intune account comes in two flavors one is the microsoft intune trial account which is valid for 30 days with 25 license but i would prefer the second one that is called enterprise mobility and security e5 license means e5 account so it provides you 90 days of period means compared to 30 days you have 90 days of period to explore the things and it will be providing you 250 license so that is something which i will prefer because 30 days you you are starting within 30 days your lab is gone right so 90 days you have still uh, that period remaining so 90 days you can explore your things okay so the second thing i am making your environment ready so intune account can be ready within next 15 20 minutes now what about the device you can you have you can have any personal device at your home any spare laptop desktop uh you you can actually use your personal device but i will not recommend because we are going to push applications patches and so many things 
So it is not recommended to use your personal device, right? Or you can go with your any second hand device also because we are just enrolling, pushing the applications. We don't need any high end device, any device which can we can experiment with. So I am pre pretty much sure that everyone will be having at least one device, a spare thing which might be can be used for deploying the internal enrollment policies and other other stuff. Okay, so now the important thing is about follow any Intune course. There are a lot of videos available on YouTube, free videos, there are blogs available. You can go with the paid versions as well on pluralsite.com and udemy.com. There are so many awesome courses created by so many people, right? So you can start following that. So there is nothing wrong with those videos. Definitely I would recommend that go and start doing that. That is the best, best key. I think videos are more better in initial days to configure anything uh, as compared to the blogs. Blogs will give you more enhanced knowledge in, in upcoming time but videos should be your first, first start starting point. Okay, so Intune account, I told you, it will take just 15-20 minutes. Once your Intune account is ready, configure it, okay, you enroll your device and deploy your first application maybe Chrome, 7-Zip, just think about any easy application. So what, why I am fo focusing on this, th this statement a lot is, it will be giving you immense happiness when you see that your device is visible in the Azure portal, in the Intune portal, MEM Admin Center. You will be able to see the hardware of that device, that what exactly the configuration is there, who logged on to the device, what applications are installed, and you are, you will be having complete control of the device using the Intune. So that will be giving you happiness and will be keep will make you motivated that yes, I was able to completely control the device. I can see the settings, right? So that's the best thing which will motivate you. Your focus will be more upon enrolling the device, whether it could be Windows 10 or Windows 11, right? And once it is ready, you can deploy applications, policies, any kind of thing to that device. Once you are pretty much uh, flexible, once you are pretty much flexible with deploying the any application package, now you can start deploying other things. For example, configuration profiles, conditional access policies, compliance policies, autopilot, or whatever. Means Intune books and videos are going to help you try to explore those things. Now let me focus upon the don'ts. Why I'm focusing upon the don'ts? Because you might get discouraged when you're going with the video and and the blocks, what you need to avoid. The very first thing is you need to avoid the topics like the hybrid, for the hybrid environment. They might be talking about the hybrid Azure AD joint, Azure AD connector, maybe SCCM workload. It's good, you can go through the video if you are able to understand it, very good. But for your learning, for the real implementation, getting focus, I think you should be stick to the Intune plan, cloud only approach. Don't think about the hybrid approach. That's the thing. Second don't is, don't focus on iOS, macOS, Android, Linux. Enrolling and deploying applications, package and configuration profile for Windows 10 will be giving you the, the best kind of exposure. So coming to this operating system, yes, it's important, but you can skip as of now. Focus upon Windows 10, Windows 11 device. That's it. Our second approach will be hybrid approach. What I mean by hybrid approach is that your device is which was previously was using the cloud only approach we were you you were you were enrolling the device manually this time we need to have an approach where your device will be part of on premises infrastructure and domain joint this kind of setup requires to have a lab yes that's why i was uh, you saying that you should be a second plan let me tell you that why i am not in favor of simply jumping to the hybrid approaches because your first approach, cloud only approach gives you the best benefit. 80-20 rule is applicable for the cloud only approach. 80-20 rule means with 20% of efforts, you can learn your 80% of learning. You can get 80% of learning in Intune. While other things for the hybrid SCCM workload, you have to do so much different kind of configuration has to be done to get a minimal learning. Because your main focus is about Intune learning. It's not about just hybrid because we here we are talking about so many different components. Focus upon a strategy, cloud only. So now with this hybrid approach, you need to have a on-premises infrastructure available. You need to have a domain controller. So for that, you need to have a high-end PC. So it could be a minimum six-core processor with 
16 GB of minimum RAM and recommended is 32 GB and I would say 500 GB of minimum SSG hard disk should be there. If you have any question regarding the lab creation or anything, you can post in the comment or I would highly recommend to post your query on manishbange.com slash forums where I can easily answer you because it will be a bigger platform for us to communicate with each other. Okay, so in this hybrid approach, once your server is ready, what we need to have that we have to configure your Active Directory group policy. So these are the things which we need to focus upon. And on-premise infrastructure and your cloud can only be connected using Azure AD Connect. We're using that, you are creating a bridge where, where both the technologies will be combined together and that's why it is called hybrid. Don'ts. For this hybrid approach also, there are a few don'ts. Do's and don'ts. So first, uh, the, for the do's, I would like to cover that we are going to focus more on creating our hybrid infrastructure ready, right? So for that, we need to have a Windows Server with domain controller installed. You need to have at least one Windows 10 or 11 device that also can be configured in your lab. Now we are going to install the Azure AD Connect so that the sync of your users, groups, objects can be done from your on-premises to the cloud. And we have to do some kind of hybrid Azure AD join settings as well so that your de devices will be able to hybrid Azure AD join automatically. Okay, now we have to enroll the device. For enrolling the device, hybrid takes another approach. We have to reply, we have to rely on the group policy if we are just focusing upon the active directory where there is no SSM involved. So what are the rules? So in this second approach, we are still not going to focus upon the SSM co-management part because it is a complex piece we will not be touching. We are just going to focus cloud only approach using group policy to enroll the device. Apart from that, everything will remain same for device management because the end goal is learning how to manage the device. That's it. Second is I will still not be focusing on iOS, Mac OS, Android Linux. It's up to you. It's your choice. You can, uh, you know, change the, the content, your faces. You can mix the things depending upon your preference. The third is hybrid approach, the advanced level. What I mean by with the advanced level, you still need to have a high-end lab. Yes, definitely it is required, but you will be having a more complex infrastructure because now this time you need to have a domain controller and one additional server for SCCM along with the software update point, WSS, anything. Means you have a very complex infrastructure available. So you need to configure the cloud attach with the SSM co-management enabled. So there are do's and don'ts. Let's talk about it. So, first of all, is there any sense of uh, working on that hybrid advanced approach? I would say it depends upon you. The first thing is the stage one, the phase one of cloud only approach will give you the maximum kind of uh, motivation to learn the Intio. The second is still good where, where you will be able to understand that the how the group policies or enrollment works. Now the third is purely about the involvement of SCCM. The SCCM will, will be responsible for enrolling the device and managing the workload. So do's. So you need to have a specific server. You need to have another server with SCCM server installed and it, could, it should be a fully functional SCCM server. You need to test about, you have to test the Intune enrollment using the SCCM feature because now group policy is not enrolling the device. You are focusing more upon the SCCM side. You have to define the workloads as, as well so that the device can be controlled between the SCCM versus Intune. And you can also go and configure your autopilot which requires more addition servers for NDS, scripts, configuration, app proxy, Intune means there are so many kind of Intune there's so many kind of different configuration is required for this. With this final configuration, you will be able to explore everything related to the hybrid, autopilot, and your configuration has been done. So I hope this strategy will work. And if you have any questions, you can directly reach out to me in this video through comments or using manishbange.com slash forums where I can provide you more details whenever required. Thank you so much.